video finds you well in a peaceful, quiet, and tranquil mood. And if not, then I wish for you to come into a comfortable resting position, ease your mind, and hopefully allow me to momentarily distract you from your troubles. Today I would like to share with you one of my latest obsessions, perfume samples. I recently purchased Atelier Cologne 23-piece sampler set from their website, and I was very impressed. Atelier Cologne was established in 2009 by husband and wife team Christophe and Sylvie. They created their own highly concentrated, long-lasting fragrance family called Cologne Absolu. They envisioned creating fragrances that have the effervescent bright freshness of Cologne with the resilience and staying power of an eau de parfum. I would like to show you all 23 current fragrances in the collection, along with a brief description and overview of their notes. I will forewarn you, though, that many of these fragrances have French names, and though I have done a little practicing and research, I can't guarantee that I will pronounce everything correctly. That being said, let's get started. Exploring the wonderful fragrances by Atelier Cologne. The collection original includes seven of Atelier's most classic citrus based fragrances. I will start off with Bois Blanc, which translates to blonde ones. Next are the notes of the fragrance which I will read in order of strength according to the fragrances reviews on a website called fragrantica.com which is a fantastic resource for anyone interested in perfumery. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to check out later. Bois Blanc is made of neroli, woody notes, vetiver, orange blossom, musk, pink pepper, It is described as a sophisticated yet mischievous elixir, best suited for use on a summer's day. As fragrances often remind us of our own past experiences, Atelier Cologne provides a nice little description of each scent that evokes an emotional memory in the mind of a fictional wearer. This is what they had to say about Bois Blanc. one of Atelier Cologne Absolu are considered to be unisex. Bois Blanc is too masculine for me to pull off. As fragrances develop differently on each person, I recommend you try out a fragrance sample for yourself before completely disregarding a fragrance or making a blind buy based on a review, which can be a regrettably expensive The collection original is Cetoile Enivant, or Intoxicating Citrus. Unsurprisingly, the prominent note in this fragrance is citrus, followed by lime, bergamot, mint, juniper berries, basil, vetiver, tonka bean, and onion. It is an aromatic citrus fragrance for summer daytime. This is the story of Cetoile Olivon. As the sun set on the beach, they were all together again. Full of emotions, they could not stop talking. Had it really been so long? They shared many memories and another round of French 75s. With laughter and tears in their eyes. 
is on the more masculine side. I, along with many other women, still enjoy it. The citrus notes are so juicy and realistic that it is hard to resist. And here I have Gong Nehomi, which is a romantic shibra for summer and daytime. A common theme among many atelier Gong Absolu, aside from their citrus notes, is that they are typically viewed as scents for summer days. Most of this line is cooling and citrus fun. It's very refreshing to the palate on a sticky, sweaty summer day. Gal Neoli boasts of a long, petty grain, lemon, bergamot, moss, pure musk, galbanum, white amber, Madagascar vanilla, and on their volume story is the windows were thrown open to let in the afternoon sun along with a breeze of orange blossoms. She used to carry the fresh flowers into her hair and her eyes sparkled with excitement and anticipation. She had been a whirl of precise emotion in her final preparation and took pause to dream about the moment to come. To me, this smells of sweet, lemony, fruity pebbles. No wonder it's one of their most well-liked scents. Follow, I have Ouyon en famille, or Oolong infant. Apparently, Oolong is a kind of traditional Chinese tea. It smells of Oolong tea, bergamot, guayac wood, vetiver, neroli. Go blossom, jasmine, and blonde leather. It is a full bodied, mysterious concoction in our spring daytime use. Oolong Olfami's story is His breath walked the window while he watched new snow fall upon the bosom lake. He came here to catch up on his riding and escape. Fragrantica. This one is extremely popular. Don't really understand why. Personally, I hardly smell anything, either straight from the vial or after it's applied on my skin. What little I can smell isn't offensive in any way, but it's hardly noticeable for me to spend 80 bucks on a 30 millimeter bottle. Here I have Atelier's most well-known fragrance, Orange Songyi, translating both to Blood Orange and Optimistic Orange, according to my research. It is a zesty and energizing burst of Blood Orange, Bitter Orange, Geranium, Tulkami, Amber, Jasmine, and Sandalwood, best worn on a summer day. Orange Songyi's story is, it was the kind of moment you would want to revisit. Everyone was here, gathered on the terrace for breakfast, and the scent of fresh oranges was diffusing the yellow heat. A symphony of their laughter and waves hitting the cliffs played in the air. This is the first Konoi Absumi. Juicy blood orange slowly bitters on my skin, just before mellowing out and giving in to the other notes. Absolutely gorgeous. I highly recommend giving this one a sniff. And next is Pomelu Paradis, which is somewhat similar to Orange Sanguine in its hyper realistic interpretation of citrus. It is an aromatic. Citrus composed of pink pomelo, also known as grapefruit, mandarin, orange blossom, amber, mint, blackcurrant, vetiver, iris, and rose. Or 
Pomelo Paradi. The story is. with you the one I have the most difficulty pronouncing. It's a pure or pure clover. It is a grassy shibra, typically used as a spring and daytime fragrance. The notes include bitter orange, clover, neroli, violet leaf, sweet basil, cardamom, oak moss, Pew's story. He had a good feeling about it. That's the thing about luck. You feel it or you don't. This moment he felt it. He found the morning's rain and left everything looking greener and a bit sharper. Like he was seeing it all for the first time. And he headed off with a spring in his step. As you can see, the card here many symbols of good luck, such as a horseshoe and four-leaf clover. This scent is a bit too earthy green for my taste, but I believe it is a well-formulated fragrance for someone who admires that quality. And that concludes the seventh Colon Absolu in the collection Original. I will now move on to the five fragrances in the collection Matia 9, which are advertised as being musical essences reinvented. To start, I will show you Ombre Nu or Amber Nude. Ombre Nu is composed of mandarin orange, laudanum, benzoin, orchid, tonka bean, patchouli, tajiti. Oriental floral is best used in a fall morning. And now for the story of Ombre Nu. We were staying in the mountains when we met them. She told us about a mysterious flower. He told us where we might find it. The next morning, near the top of the crest, in a moment, a scent seduced us. I may be wrong, but I believe this fragrance's delicious ambery tones come from the French labdanum flower. This perfume has a gorgeous sweet richness and is fairly long lasting on my skin. Mm. This is Mistra Pachumi, which means Julie Breeze. It is composed of star anise, patchouli, Uranium, iris, pomelo, black pepper, incense, benzoin, and vetiver. Mistra patchouli is best suited for spring daytime. And now for the story. Just as they could not stop the winds from blowing, nor could they stay apart any longer. They left everything behind. adore this fragrance. I am personally not a big fan of Star Anise, which has a licorice-esque quality. For someone who would enjoy an earthy licorice scent, 
I think this would be a wonderful fragrance. But it's not for me. Oh, I have a dark, mysterious scent for you. Holes and the knee. Fragrance as a dusty rose done correctly. The oud is quite powerful. Without taking the fragrance too far on the masculine side to be considered a true unisex. Personally, I love it. Next up is Medieval Fata or Fatal Medivar, which is described. Fumes initial woody burst of vetiver. The dry down is pleasant. The plum adds a nice touch of sweetness to round it out. Overall, I don't think that it's their best or their worst fragrance for me. And now for another atelier classic. Bonnie All Salsé or Senseless Vanilla. I purchased this as a blind buy in a very inexpensive mini duo with all Bunny All Sense includes vanilla, oak, lime, coriander, amber, vetiver, citron, oak moss, and jasmine. It is a classy, comforting fall daytime scent. Its story is. consider it to be as unique as some of Atelier's other fragrances. It's a basic woody vanilla with some citrus notes tossed in for good measure. I say make sure you love it before splurging on a big bottle. most expensive selection from 
lime old sapphire or sapphire old. It is a delicately crafted concoction of birch, vanilla, jasmine, suede, bergamot, oud, pink pepper, and amber seeds. This one isn't very well known yet, since it was just released in May 2015. It is unique to the line in that it is well suited fall and winter nighttime use. Here is Oud Sefia's story. Her decision was irreversible. She would not continue living a life for others' rules. To see his deep sapphire blue eyes feel the call of his voice again were the only things that mattered now. With him, she finally felt ready to write her own history. This is a rich, resinous, woody vanilla that I think will appeal more to men, but it is just sweet enough for me to enjoy as well. Ah, yes. This is my second favorite Atelier Cologne of the Santal Kerma, which means red sandalwood. The notes are sandalwood, saffron, Madagascar vanilla, White musk, guayac wood, papyrus, lime, cedar, and bergamot. I don't understand the story, but here it is. He had a spark from an early age with a sharp intuition and limitless curiosity. One day they were called revolutionary. The moment had come to fight for his dreams. absolutely adore this fragrance, but I see it as much more feminine than masculine. I can't put my finger on what I love about this fragrance. Is it the saffron? I've never smelled saffron before, so I can't say for sure. Santal Clermont is just too comforting for me to resist. Next up is my number one most Atelier Blanche Immortelle or White Immortelle. It is the only fragrance by Atelier Cologne marketed exclusively to women. It smells of Immortelle, Sandalwood, Mandarin Orange, Mimosa, Vetiver, Jasmine Sambac, Patchouli, Great for day or nighttime use, and was popularly used all through spring. Her limitless generosity defined her, but she preferred to stay hidden. With fire and passion, she secretly devoted every moment of freedom to the cause that could make an everlasting difference. Her actions would irreversibly alter the staff. The story describes Blanche Immortel as a powerful woman. I see it more as a delicate, comforting gourmand fragrance. This is my first experience smelling Immortel, but from my research, the yellow flower smells of caramel spice cake, which is fascinating. Anyone who wants a sophisticated yet It would be hard for me to not spend $115 on a 30ml bottle of this beauty, which is really saying something because I am so cheap. To follow up, I present to you gold leather, a leathery fall nighttime scent. It is composed of rum, leather, plum, oo. This gold leather story. A man of such great power and charisma could have anything he asked. Despite it all, he could not have the only thing he really wanted. For the first time in his life, he had found the absolute woman, and he was a better man for it. He would not let her go. Anything but that. He would trade all the gold in the world. 
I like the way the plum, leather, and rum interplay with each other as this fragrance develops on my skin. I will say that it is a touch strong for me, and I think I would love this fragrance on demand. And the final fragrance of the collection Meta is Silver Iris. It is a fall daytime fragrance made of iris. Mosa, pink pepper, white amber, tangerine, and patchouli. A woman of such intimidating beauty and sparkling vitality gained the adoration of everyone around her. However, no one knew what she had been through. With her wild spirit, she was weird scent you get from some lipsticks. Apparently that is iris. Self iris smells exactly like old lipstick to me. I like a lot of the other notes listed in this fragrance, but I don't have much luck detecting them. I'll have to keep trying this one out to see if I end up liking it or not. Next is the Collection Azul, where Atelier Cologne has used fruit, flowers, and woods that are grown in coastal areas across the globe to emphasize where the sea and sky come from. All but one in this collection are very sweet, and for that reason they really appeal to my perfect taste. I will start with my all-time least favorite of the company, the Cedra Atlas, or Lemon, vetiver, bergamot, apricot, papyrus, black currant, jasmine, and white amber. You woke up suddenly, foggy and out of place. Scenes flashed in his head. They were chasing him. The snowpack was deep. cedar wood chips I used to use as a bedding and litter for my pets. I've seen more men say they love this fragrance, but I can't imagine anyone being able to pull this off, especially a woman. Definitely try this one on before you buy. And now for a better version of where the scene sky become one. I will show you Figuier Anton, meaning ardent or passionate fig. The fragrance exudes notes of fig, iris, fig leaf, cedar, anise, cardamom, bergamot, salty fig, and black pepper. It is best worn on a spring day. Adon is a thoughtful rendition of a fig tree with a good measure of spice and floral notes. I'm a pretty big fan. Next up is Mandaline Glacial, the icy mandarin. It has ginger, 
mandarin orange, lemon, fedora, bergamot, fenugreek, jasmine, white amber, and oak moss. The telegram was getting repeated, and she persisted in ignoring them. He knew what she was capable of, but she refused to work his way. This time, Start out smelling very robust and masculine, but I have grown to appreciate this fragrance as unisex. Give it a sniff if you get a chance. Here I have Sud Magnolia, Southern Magnolia, a delicate floral woody musk for a spring day. Its notes are pomelo, magnolia, bitter orange, rose. Musk, sandalwood, atlas, cedar, and black currant. I love its story. They met at the year without fail, always at the same celebration. He got the side of my crown. Her mask was adorned with the white feather and magenta crystals. He enjoyed a moment watching her in search for him. I'm not sure why this has so many negative reviews, because I think Sue Magnolia is utterly captivating. A sweet, elegant floral with musky, woody back notes is right up my alley. I even detect a hint of an aquatic note, but it is very subtle. Some people say this can turn bitter on their skin, but it is so, so gorgeous in the prime. I'd highly recommend Sue Magnolia to anyone. And last but not least is the Collection Les Exclusives, which only has two perfumes at the moment. Sur le toit de Paris, which I believe means under the dome of Paris, contains violet leaf, geranium, vetiver. Ideal for a spring day. Here's its story. A century of elegance and extravagance. La Coupole, the dome, has governed times and fashions, while inside, the emotion has remained the same. The wish to reinvent oneself, the pleasure of looking and discovering, the joy of possessing. a sweet, fresh, violet leaf fragrance that is pleasant, but not thrilling or unique to my nose. I will enjoy my small sample, but won't be rushing out to buy it again. And the final perfume I will be reviewing for you today is Rendezvous, a rich, green, leathery fragrance for fall and winter nights. It has Chinese osmanthus, suede, Violet leaf, iris, patchouli, lemon, white musk, pink pepper, and bergamot. Here's its description. The sweet stir of excitement and the thrill of possibility. Butterflies flutter to the surface. More than a chance encounter, a union of two cultures, and a moment of intimacy. Inspired.
extremely expensive at $350 for a 200ml bottle, but I can see where some people would believe it to be worth that price. It's not quite my style, but I can tell it is a well-formulated perfume, carefully thought out by Atelier Cologne. And with that, I will conclude my review of Atelier Cologne's line.